GQ, what's going on? Hey, yo, what's up, man? What's good? Hey, nice to meet you. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm chilling, man. What's the word? So, uh, yeah, we're just trying to catch up. I understand you got some thoughts on what's going on in the community these days. Yeah, a few, man, a few, man. It's nasty out here. So, so let's start out with, uh, give me the breakdown on, on who you are and what your story is for the people who don't really know you. All right, man. You know, my name is Casanova. You know, I put the, I put the GQ on there basically to just, you know, separate me from all the other miscellaneous Casanovas out there. But, um, you know, I'm here. Did a little time in prison, scamming, running around. But um, I'm back now. You know, I had to let my presence be felt when it come out, you know, because niggas is running around here with my hand. So when you say you did a little time, it was it was a while, right? Yeah, it was a little while, man. Um, okay, and so let's talk about the relationship between you and the rapper Casanova real quick because he, he keeps making more and more headlines lately. And, yeah, we've been hearing about uh, how you have some issues with him. So when did you first become aware of him? Well, me and Caswell, we met back in... 2004, I'm saying we met in 2004 through my man Classic that got that got murdered. God bless the dead. You know I said that in my last video, but um, we met back then. He told me his name was Cas Casanova. You know I laughed in his face, and um, pretty much time went by. I got locked up, and next thing you know I'm 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 hearing about him doing all of this, adding all of this jail shit into his whole image. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't really feeling that. So, yeah, when he put out, like, the DJ Vlad interviews where he was talking about running Rikers and shit, was that something in particular that uh, stood out to you as, as being false? Because I understand that you had a, a very heavy presence in the New York City jails for a period of time. Yeah, that was that was completely false. The, the kid was locked up, but he wasn't running shit. It's a difference, like, a lot of people get locked up, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of niggas out here that get locked up and do time, do five years, do ten years, and they might they might get into a fight or two, but there's, there's, there's one thing to be running shit, like, I'm talking about, like, like, I had shit to the point where niggas was refusing the houses that I was in, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, niggas didn't want to come in certain dorms that I was in, niggas was just like, it was a big deal when I come to a building. You know, there's a lot of shit going down, man. I don't know if, if, if you want to get into all of that, like the specifics as far as like the, the kind of shit I was doing in there, like to make it that way. But there was a lot of shit that I was doing inside the buildings. And even even when I went up top, that was like, that was just like off the wall shit to where it was like, I just had my name buzzing through the system. And then for you to come out now as a rapper and then now you utilizing that like, He's, he's got that a part of the forefront of what he got going on. You know what I'm saying? When, when I seen the album cover commissary, it's just like, like, what's up? Like, like, why are you promoting this jail shit so much, dude? Right. So when you say you were running the jails there, we've been hearing rumors that, that you did a lot of damage to a lot of other inmates. We were hearing that you were controlling the phones. Like, from, from your perspective, what what was the key or the, or the main thing that, like, sort of allowed you to dominate in that environment? Well, pretty much just just a no nonsense approach. Like I came through, I ain't gonna lie. I kinda like how what you call like the like like the pretty boy complex. You know how you know how niggas have like the short man complex? Like I had a I had a complex of coming off as a nigga that was like a pretty boy or oh, yeah, in the town he was a scammer, he just get fly and I just got on some bullshit. I just started beating niggas up, I started firing on niggas. I just I just wasn't playing with nobody and I just, I just wound up just, just controlling shit that way, and, and, and it became cool, and, and I stood out a lot because my name was Casanova, and I was doing that because Casanova is not, is not a name that you would usually fear. It was like, a, it was like a, it was like a, it was like a, like a cool guy name, and I made it a name that niggas fear. So you, but you had a run in with the other Casanova at some point, and, and was what was that like? Did was there tension between you guys? Um. Me and him had a run-in because there was rumors floating around about him telling on a case that my man Classic caught before he got murdered. My man Classic had got locked up for a gun. Then it turned into a robbery of them basically trying to say that he had something to do with niggas robbing a nigga Caswell, well, Casanova two-time. 
them robbing his his crib back in the days or whatever. They was trying to say my man Classic was connected to it. So when he got arrested for a gun, they wound up taking his clothes and all that, saying that he had something to do with this kid's apartment getting robbed. Then me and Classic Baby Mother try to bail him out. They rearrest him for murder. So it was like it was like a lot of shit going on with that. And this kid name kept coming up. So I bumped into him one time downtown Brooklyn and I pulled up on him, backed him down. He started copping a plea. You know, this nigga's always jumping around and all this, all this monkey shit. Yo, yo, I don't got nothing to do with that. Yo, you could, next time Classic call, you tell him ain't nobody going to court. Ah. And then I was that. Classic wound up beating the case. He came home. And then I was that. Okay. So, but originally you didn't have any like strong animosity towards him. When did that change? When did you, you start to feel like he was misusing the name or whatever? While I was incarcerated. While I was incarcerated on this one, and he was doing all the rapping shit, dudes is coming back to me, pretty much saying, yo, when niggas is asking him, did he do X, Y, and Z in here? He's like, he's saying, yeah. He's like, yeah, that's all me, yo. Ah, ah, ah. This is what I'm getting reported back. Like, cause like I said in my last video, I didn't care that he became a rapper and all that. I, I was like, oh, that's what's up. And I'm saying like, when I left the town, we didn't really leave on bad blood. We, I went, we actually, I went to a party together he was fucked up in a party that the, the kids slow bugs had through some kind of party. We went to the shit together. I bought him a bottle. We, we had a, we had a decent time. The next day I met up with him, gave him some money. So he was fucked up. Then I went to jail. So I didn't, I didn't understand why when, when he did get on or whatever, when he did get in the loop, why was it that he was like trying to X me out and try to act like I didn't exist and was just trying to take full credit for the handle. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Where, did you feel some type of way when you saw the video of uh, him or uh, him sort of getting co-signed as running the jails by ASAP Rocky? How did that sit with you? <laughs> yeah, I just slipping I on just slipping laughed. on semen or whatnot. <laughs> Yo, I just laughed at it. It just it just was funny to me, man. It, it, it was funny, man. I just I just I just laughed, and then it, it I went from laughing to kind of getting annoyed because. His right hand man, his man Brash, two time. You know, I know him as Crash. I guess they call him Brash now. But that's my man. You know what I'm saying? I hit him up. We spoke. And he basically was, you know, asked me, like, oh, Cash, yo, why, why, why you doing this, man? Bro, like, you know, Cash, he's all right, man. He, he was doing him too in the jail. And I'm like, yo, come on, Crash, man. Me and you both know that he wasn't doing what I was doing, man. So I said, you know what? I'm going to leave him alone. I'm not really going to be entertaining this whole shit with him. It really wasn't supposed to be for everybody in the first place. I came home, you know, I came home, made my little video. I said what I said, you know, about the monkey shit and all that. That was really supposed to kind of just be like a little shot at him between me and him, but it kind of blew up into this big thing. And um, when I saw the video, it just, it just kind of made me upset all over again because it's like, this is what you're trying to use to prove that you was getting busy in jail, ASAP Rocky. and. In the video, if, if, if you pay attention, ASAP Rocky is saying before he left, that's when Cass wanted to try to take over the house. Like, when I was on the island, when I'm in houses, it's already established. Like, when niggas come in, I already got the crib. It's not like I'm in the house already, and then I build up the courage to, to try to take over. Like, from day one, I'm pulling up, I'm taking phones off the hook, I'm turning TVs off. Hey, yo, listen up, y'all niggas in here? This phone over here is mine. Y'all niggas stay off the fucking day room. Lock-in time is at fucking 8 o'clock. Y'all niggas stay off the tier. Like, all of this shit is getting established day one. I'm not I'm not going to be in the house for a little while and then and then build up the courage to try to take over. Right. Man, like, just from, from my perspective, it just seems like it would be so crazy to go into that environment and actually be able to alpha male everybody the fuck out of it. Like, I don't... Person, how do you make sense of that? I don't understand how you, you were able to sort of establish that dominance. It's just it's just about letting your nuts hang. That's what they call it. It's just, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not picking and choosing. You know what I'm saying? And he does a lot of that. Like the the nigga picks and chooses. You know what I'm saying? Like he had his little he had his little thing where he was robbing niggas, but he was robbing niggas that was soft. Like, the nigga never robbed no gangsters. I don't know of him robbing no gangsters. No niggas that's like, that's going to be looking for him after or that's going to put some money on his head afterwards. Like, he's not doing nothing to no gangsters. 
Have, have you been surprised the level of interest from the public? Because uh, a friend of mine made a video talking about it, and I noticed it had like half a million views on YouTube. Of what? About talking about the situation with you and the other Casanova. Yo, man, it's just like, I feel like the people already knew something wasn't right about him. And when I pulled up, it's just like, it just gave everybody reason to just be like, yeah, like, like, like we knew it because... If I was full of shit, if I was just up here, if I just came home and I made my video and I'm full of shit and he's official, then we wouldn't even be here talking. It wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been a topic because niggas would have just shot my shit right down. Like, oh, who the fuck is this nigga? Nobody knows this nigga. You know what I'm saying? But if you, when you go into my comments and you see what niggas are saying, niggas is, yeah, the real cast is here. That's my son. Yeah, he's official. Ah, ah. Yo, I was with him over here. I was with him over there. You, you understand what I'm saying? If I was full of shit and he was so official, nobody would have entertained it. Right, for sure. So, okay, before we get into the comments that the other Casanova made on The Breakfast Club that I know you felt some type of way about, let's just get your perspective on the whole 6 9 thing, because you were locked up when 6 9 came out on the scene, right? Yeah. yeah. So what was your perspective on seeing him blow up and then the, the strange conclusion that we've seen taken where he's uh, telling on all his boys? Like, as far as 6 9 is concerned, like, when he first came out, I didn't really have nothing to say about him. Like, I don't I don't really judge niggas based on how they look. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you just never know. Like, nigga got the colorful hair and all that. Nigga probably is official. I don't know. But once it came out now that he's a rat and he's telling, that's it. It's over. It's no, it's no oh, nah, but son, he, he's a genius and all this other crazy shit this nigga was saying. Like, like this nigga, I know we wasn't going to go into my comments on the video, but this nigga just... He don't live by no code. He's like, it's like he just, he just don't live by no code. There's no, there's no street code with him. There's no jail code. There's no bro code. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no street code in the sense where he's supposed to be gang banging. He, 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 he's the ape, right? He, he's blood, but you know he's running around with, with, with the other side and he's fucking with these niggas and that niggas and he's condoning telling and 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 all of that kind of shit and. You know, the jail code, he's just, he's lying about shit that he did in jail. And the bro code, like, at the end, at the end of the day, you got, I'm going to use Meek Mills, for example. He's close to Meek, I see. I like Meek Mill. Meek Mill's official. He's close to Meek. Meek, let him in. He's going to parties with him. He's taking pictures with him, all kinds of shit. If that's your bro, and your bro is making comments saying, we not fucking with 6 9 he's a snitch, he's a rat, fuck that nigga. And then here you go, a day later, talking about the nigga's a genius. Basically, if you was in his shoes, you would tell too. Who, who does that? How that look? Yeah, I've seen a bunch of people getting uh, in their feelings or, or just feeling some type of way about Casanova saying that. I mean, but but can you look at it from a perspective of like... 6 9 was potentially being set up to be murdered by these dudes that he's telling on, so he might feel like it's it's justified for him to take that route. How do you feel about that argument? There's no justification when it comes to snitching. You know what you're getting yourself into before you get into it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, you don't, you don't be running around here posting videos with guns and, you know, shooting at video shoots or whatever it is, all this shit that he was into. You don't do all of that shit. And then when it all comes crashing down, you 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 telling and you talking about because you're a millionaire, it's okay to tell. That's that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Right. So um man, so how do you but how do you feel about the reaction that, that Casanova's been getting in the streets and how your presence might affect that? Like do you feel like it's kinda on you where you wanna like really put your side of the story out there as much as possible just to protect your name and shit now? Does that feel important? It's not even putting my name out as much as possible. Like, I've been home a little over a month now. You think you're the first person to ask me to do an interview? Like, niggas been asking me to do interviews since I came home, since the first video, and I ain't do it because it wasn't really about that. It was just, I said what I said. I, I let my presence be felt. I'm home now, and then that's that. I'm about to get to the bag. I'm getting the money this summer. I'm going to be in all the major events, all the spots. I'm be I'm be around. So it was... It wasn't really so much about talking about, yo, he's he's a fraud and I'm I'm more official than him. I said what I said, and then and then that was that. It wasn't it really. It was, it's not about me just trying to get my story out. It's not. It's, it's not about that. It just was that this last video was just like 
but with him at the Breakfast Club and you know him doing the other interview on Hot 97, it's just like this nigga's a clown. Like like he's just he's just crashing, he's just crashing on his own. You know what I'm saying? I hear you. So is this the kind of situation where you're trying to see him or is it the kind of situation where you're just kind of happy to let him do his thing, you do your thing, put your side of the story out there? If you guys ran into each other, what would that situation be like right now? Um, We run into each other. We run into each other like I didn't come home from jail to be to be like searching for him to try to fight him or to try to, you know, I want to get into a shootout with this nigga. It's just I'm letting niggas know I'm home, and it's it's lit. It, it is what it is. Like I'm not I'm not the type to like to play games. Like his man tax, I spank tax on the island. Wait I, wait wait, explain that. Yeah, that, that 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 was a little while back. You know, me and tax knew each other from 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 younger younger years, kids. When I was you know going out in Star Ray City playing ball and all that. Niggas know I play ball. That's that's no secret. I used to go to Star Ride, used to be playing ball, hanging out with them niggas. Them niggas tried to, try, tried to act funny with me one time. We wound up getting into a big brawl on 42nd Street. That was back in 2004. I see tax 2008 on Rikers Island, the four building. Brash was there. Brash two time. He was in the house when I pulled up. Oh, and so we talking about 2008. You're going all the way back here. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They, they, this was in 2008, and I pulled up to the crib. You know, Tax was in there already. Brash was in there, but when I came, it was like it was like inst- instantly, niggas is like, "Oh, yo, Cash is here, yo, yo, Cash, what you want? Ah, uh, 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 yo, we with you, ah, uh, yo, it's good." So, me and Tax basically was like, we laughed about the situation. We was kids at the time when all that shit happened back in the days, and one day, me and me and me and Crash is joking with him about something, and he kind of got serious, like, "Yo, in the town." My shit go off. Uh, like, yo, dude, like, you talking like, like, you could beat me or something. Like, relax. <laughs> like, yo, I'm talking like it's whatever. Boop, bop, boop, bop, boop, bop. Crunch them. Crunch them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I hear now while I'm locked up that he's fucking with Caswell. You know what I'm saying? So. Do you think he might have started fucking with the other Casanova in part because he didn't, didn't care for you? On purpose. Uh. Everything is strategic, man. Everything is strategic. So now you snatch him up. Now you running around with him. And now I come home. That's your man. We not playing those games. You're not going to act like niggas is cool. You fuck with son. I spank son on the island. So we not even going to act like that never happened. And next thing you know, niggas set me up. Like, I'm not I'm not with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm the type. I get right to it. I'm not with the playing, playing game shit. If I don't fuck with you. I don't fuck with you. We're not going to pretend that we cool or we fuck with each other. You know what I'm saying? I feel you. So what, what are you, like, concerned with at this point in your life in terms of, like, what, what you're doing with yourself? You're not trying to get in the rap game exactly? Nah, I'm not. I'm definitely not no rapper. Okay. You know, I'm, in, I'm into fashion. I'm into, I'm into business. You know what I'm saying? When I was locked up, I started two photo companies. You know what I mean? One called Picture It All, one called Photo Express. You know, I was hooking dudes' pictures up. I had my wife running it while I was locked up, and that shit kind of went through the roof while I was locked up. That's how I came home to a nice little bag and was doing my thing. Like, I just come up with a lot of creative ideas, whether it's fashion, whether it's business, just all things so, so surrounding that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody told me that your girl held you down for 10 years while you were locked up? <laughs> it, was, it was a while, man. It was a while. How you find a solid chick like that? That's, I, I need my girl to hold me down for a decade was, while I'm was, locked up. It was definitely from the beginning to the end, from the precinct. You know what I mean? From when I got locked up and I'm in a precinct. I'm like, yo, they, they took my coat. They took this for evidence. I need you to bring me a sweatsuit to the precinct. She there 15 minutes later. You know what I'm saying? So And from then on, she was all in. It was, it was never no confusion throughout the bed. I'm not hearing about how fucking and sucking niggas out here. None of that. Damn, that's that's a that's a real one right there. Yeah, man. So, uh, yeah. what else you been you been into? Anything else we need to know about what you got going on right now, or or what's the deal? No, nah, I'm working on something big right now. I can't really put that out there, but it's coming. You know what I'm saying they're gonna see it, and like I said, this summer I'm gonna be on the scenes heavy. You know, it it, it kind of fucked me up to hear that that boy is on some. You know, if, if if shit go left, he's on some he's on some fully cooperating shit. You know, you see on on the 
on the video, he gave the whole broke down. The, he gave the whole breakdown of how it go when 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 the feds come get you and they debrief you and you you could get right out and go to a halfway house. I, I, I was like, damn, he know the whole shit. <laughs> that nigga know the whole shit. How this shit work if if you want to tell and, and and get out quick? Like this nigga's crazy. Damn, but, you uh, feel like uh, the street code is in jeopardy? That like the the snitching thing? Like people even a couple years ago were saying like, oh, snitching's becoming cool. It seems like snitching's really becoming cool right now, right? Shit is nasty out here, man. I don't I don't know what's going on, but you know I'm here. I'm gonna bring the 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 realness back. You know the authentic back. You know, you see, I'm not up here with no bunch of fake ass diamond chains. When I when I start busting up and I start going, y'all gonna come with me to the jeweler. I'm gonna get some customized shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let y'all see what's see see the real shit. You know what I'm saying? None of that fake shit like I told y'all. None of that monkey shit. <laughs> Yo, uh, pause and all that, but your hairline is looking crispy as fuck right now, though. I gotta say. Nah, man. You know, I try. You know, I get a few comments here and there about. <laughs> about, about how, brush how, in the, hand the, the, the direction my waves go in you know uh, some some dudes don't understand it you know what i mean man if i took this hat off you'd be happy to have that hair <laughs> all right so uh oh shit what are you drinking oh this is um some pure white henny holy shit my wife brought this back from dr for me she know i like henny she wanted me to try the white one you're on the high life out here now <laughs> nah <laughs> Not yet. Crazy. All right, yo, it was dope meeting you, man, and I appreciate uh, getting to hear your side of the story and everything. Yeah, yeah, you are ready, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, and when you're out here in L.A. or if I'm in New York, let's get up for sure. You are ready, no doubt. All right, GQ Casanova, we appreciate you calling in. Thank you, bro. All right, man, mahalo. <laughs> Thanks, man. Boom. That was a good one. That was tight, right? Yeah. <laughs> I like it. right there.